Hello everyone, my name is Steve, the Wired Flyer, and I break down aviation concepts in a simple to understand way. And today's topic is all about lateral stability. How an airplane is able to roll in a controlled manner without spinning out of control. And in today's video, we'll be going over the four main factors contributing to a safe level flight through lateral stability. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. So what is lateral stability? Well, it's also known as roll stability, and it's the aircraft's ability to resist unwanted roll and maintain a safe and level flight around its longitudinal axis. It helps counteract unwanted rolling caused by wind, turbulence, and uneven lift. And without it, the pilot would need to constantly be correcting the aircraft just to keep it balanced. So there are four main factors that contribute to lateral stability. And those are number one, dihedral angles. Number two, keel effect. Three, sweep back. And four, proper weight distribution. Let's first look at dihedral angles. Now, dihedral means that the wings are at a slight angle upwards from the fuselage, like so. And if you were to roll left, then the left wing would be reaching the relative airflow at a higher angle of attack than the wing that's up high, causing the airplane to naturally want to balance itself out. Now, this is why most commercial airplanes are equipped with dihedral so that the airplane has a natural way to correct itself and balance itself out without the pilot's correction. Another factor contributing to lateral stability is the keel effect. Now, this is found on high wing aircraft, such as the Cessna 172. And basically, the fuselage, which is lower than the wings, acts as a pendulum because most of the weight is in the fuselage. So if the airplane is disturbed and it rolls slightly to the left, the weight of the fuselage will naturally balance the airplane out. And this is why high wing aircraft are generally more laterally stable than low wing aircraft. The wing sweep is the third factor contributing to lateral stability. So having a swept back wing where from the wing root to the wing tip, it's on an angle that points slightly backwards. Now, when an aircraft rolls to the left, the left wing actually moves slightly forward. So the left wing tip is moving faster than the right. Therefore, it is naturally going to produce more lift than the upward wing. This causes the airplane to balance itself out laterally. Now, the fourth factor contributing to lateral stability is proper weight distribution in the aircraft. So when the airplane has good weight distribution and it's relatively even, then both wings are going to produce pretty much the same amount of lift. But if there is too much weight on one side or the other, then that means the airplane would kind of naturally want to be tilted in one direction. So for it to be leveling out, then that means there is a lot more lift being created on one wing as opposed to the other. Now, that makes it really hard for the pilot to control the airplane, which is why the pilot checks the weight and balance before every single flight. And incorrect loading can reduce stability. So that's it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was Steve, the Wired Flyer. If you learned something new, please hit that like button and subscribe for more aviation content. And don't forget, stay motivated, keep learning, and chase your dreams.